All right, guys, welcome back to Stranger Palooza. We're at the 2021 SEMA show in Las Vegas, and we're actually in the Domatic booth. And there's a van. What? This is the old. This is the only camper van at SEMA show. And Larry of Domatic, right yep. here with Domatic, he's got the van. So we're gonna do a full walkthrough right now, and then we'll show you guys in here what's what's at Domatic. Domatic just makes a lot of stuff for camping, uh, overlanding, getting outdoors. Yeah, we have lodging appliances. We have marine appliances, RV appliances, overland. I mean, really, so many different categories. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. I work for the company, part of the marketing team, but uh, I've been living on the road for many years. Right now, not full time, but mm -hmm. hunt, fish, climb, snowboard, everything. Yeah. So you've probably my, seen him in videos already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, random things come yeah. up, but th this is my newest build that I've had for the last year and okay. taken all over the U.S. But what is it? So uh, obviously, it's a Sprinter van. Which yep. one is it? A 170? It's a 170. Okay. Four wheel drive. Okay. Yep. So I just picked up just the van. Uh -huh. And I basically had a vision of what products and what companies I wanted to include. Okay. And kind of drew everything out and started mm -hmm. reaching out to companies that could bring that vision to life. And okay. Of it, I settled on Touring because I like working with good people mm -hmm. and the owners are awesome. And second, when you're spending that kind of money, like you want to make sure someone has attention to detail. Mm -hmm. And as we go through, you'll see yeah. the attention to detail is there. It's really here, yes. And so one of the first things I'll tell you guys uh, like that really makes this particular build unique is that there's actually doors on both sides. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's noticed that yet. Usually the door is not on this side, it's on the other side, which it is open, right? Absolutely. So on that other side it's open, but there's... There's a door on this side, so that's why you have this clear walkthrough. Why did you choose that? Because we don't always see that. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So I had been in all these vans that were either DIYs, so doing it themselves, mm -hmm. right? Or upfitter vans, so mm -hmm. you're taking it somewhere and they're building the van. Mm -hmm. And they all look the same. Mm -hmm. I was like, why are all these vans the same? Like, there's <laughs> there's other options. And I think most people think just because they haven't seen it, it can't it be done or yeah. it shouldn't be done. Right, 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 yeah. But if you really think about it, when you put the cabinet all the way over, up top and down low, for that small amount of square footage, mm -hmm. if that's a make or break, you don't even need a van. You're on the wrong platform. Mm -hmm. And I say that because you can fit that extra gear in a duffel and put it in the back mm -hmm. with how much space you have, but then at least you don't have to feel like you're in a coffin. Right, yeah. And I'll show you that as we go yeah, in. Yeah, that's, so, that's why I've really looked forward to actually seeing this. I have I have seen some stuff. Even though you have both doors open, you chose to put these cabinets right here, you can still get in and out. Correct. And then kind of, it's like an open kitchen thing that goes into the living room. Absolutely, well the thing is this is a home, right? right. If you're yeah. using it for a weekend, you're using it full time, like mm -hmm. it's still your home. Yeah. Right? And you want to be accessible. Like, you ever been camping somewhere and it's super windy? Well, try to open one of these big doors <laughs> yeah. and it's like a sail. <laughs> well, guess what? Go to the other side of the van. Yeah. So that's number one, right. like, big thing. Yeah. Two. Uh, genius. Yeah, right? Genius. So, number two, you go camping. Uh huh. Are you going to be inside or outside? Probably outside. Yeah. You're going to be in there if you're sleeping. Correct. Yeah. Sleeping, bad weather, yeah. something like that, right? Yeah. Well, now. You can open up both, which is bringing the outside in. Mm -hmm. Now I'm camping and, and, and our cooking, sorry, I'm cooking, prepping, doing things and enjoying the outside yeah. without being like, why am I in here? So let me ask you, is it is it difficult though to get the doors on both sides or how do you order that? What's the thing? So, in, you know, growing up, my dad was a car salesman. Uh -huh. and he always said, you don't have to buy what's in the lot. You can order something. Yeah. You don't charge anything extra. You just honestly pick out your build as long as you, with the vans it's hard there's a demand right but you get a build ticket essentially mm -hmm. and then you pick out the extras you want and it's only about a thousand dollars to add the door from Mercedes this is not done okay cool after market. but let's walk on in and we can kind of like look at it more absolutely yeah, we got so much room honestly yeah. We can sit right here. So you still it. have like a fridge, you know? Absolutely. So now with both doors and us in here, see like, look, you can stay where you're at. Look how many yeah. people are right here. If yeah. that was a door right there, mm -hmm. you would already feel claustrophobic yeah. being in here with Yeah, you. I totally agree with you. See, yeah. you don't get the driver's seat that turns around because the cabinet yeah. would go all the way to it. Right. You know? Yeah. So you can, the seat can turn, but it's not going to be really functional turn. Yeah. Not at all. No. So, 
you, you have so much more room to get to, like I said, not feel cramped. These are nice seats, by the way. <laughs> they are. They're insanely comfortable. What are these seats? Uh, Shillman. Shillman. Okay. Yeah, so well, these vans are, you know, FedEx is using Amazon. They're cargo vans that are mass mm -hmm. produced, and they're not thinking about the comfort. Yeah. And because of that, these are comfortable. You know, as, you know, hearing you earlier talk about traveling from here, from like, you know, Southern State, like, yeah. you're driving and sleeping the most inside of the van, is yeah. what I say. Yeah. I have this stove right here just for stealth camping or bad weather. Mm -hmm. Once again, if I go somewhere and it's on concrete, right, I, concrete camping as I say, it has a picnic table, typically. Mm -hmm. So I can use that and cook with a grill outside mm -hmm. or, you know, I want to be outside. Mm -hmm. And other times I take my own table and set up and I'm okay. still cooking outside. It's a small space. Mm -hmm. If you're always just in here, you're getting smelly, you know, in general you have a shower, because mm -hmm. a shower doesn't hold that much water anyway. They only right. have a, you know, Maybe small tank. Maybe gallons. Yeah, gallons, so. Yeah. I don't want to splash bacon grease all over my walls mm -hmm. and all that stuff. So it's only very certain things that, like that you'll cook that I'm cooking I've inside. never used our cooktop. No, top. and uh, that's so common. Yeah. So it's yeah. like once again, like I don't. I wanted to use the space wisely. So you get the stove top, you get the fridge. You know, have your sink right here. I can prep on this area. I can prep on this area. Everything you need for your kitchen is right yeah. here. And another person can be sitting up front and have that space. Mm -hmm. Another person can be sitting right here. You don't have space. And the nice thing is, you know, if you're eating or working here, um, I'm gonna go over here. Mm -hmm. No, you're good. Then, mm -hmm. uh, then you have space. But the thing is, everybody has what they need or they think they need. Oh, I see. So That's now, interesting. Look how much room. Yeah, it's totally wide open now. Yeah. Yeah, you can have a party in here real fast. A hundred percent. And yeah. what's crazy is you get in a one, like, a lot of times people think this is the 170 extended mm -hmm. because of how much room it feels yeah. like it has. Yeah. So, you know, on the double door, just adding little things to it was, this is the easiest way to show. If this was a ca uh, countertop going to here and I'm cooking, how much, like, space <laughs> do I have? <laughs> Not a lot. Nothing. It's just, and, and look, you're giving up this much. Yeah. At that length. What I, you know, one of the things I really love about this in here, it's really, it has a utilitarian feel. Yeah. Uh, it's still warm, but these cabinets, like here, they're, they're like, uh, they're, they're like shop cabinets, right, Walt? 100%. Yeah. Like you have, yeah. They're yeah. aluminum. Yeah, I've never seen that, actually. They're super lightweight. Uh-huh. And, yeah, the fact that... Who makes these? Uh, so Turig works for the company, and they uh -huh. design out what size they need, yeah. and then Torig adds yeah. the countertops on it, so you do like a cedar, and I went walnut. Okay. I really like the color, but are yeah. they painted or powder coated? Powder coated. Oh so wow, you can do this any is cool. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. And often people do white, black. You'll see red. For me, I was like, you said any color, so I started looking at all the colors, and I was like, I want to go with that. And they were like, I don't know how it's gonna look. And then it's like one of the favorite colors that like a lot of yeah. people come up. It looks green. Sometimes it looks brown. Yes. Sometimes it looks gray. Yeah, it, it looks like a green light. gray, and it goes well with this. Uh, what's this material here in the ceiling, the walls, and everything? You know what the is exact this material. I'm not sure. Like basically, it's a wrapped panel. Yeah, it feels like bur like what do they call it? Burberry or something? Uh, yeah, it's a uh, bar. Berber? Berber. Berber. Oh, Berlap, Berlap, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. carpet maybe. Yeah, yeah, it feels like that, yeah. And you can do real short loop. Yeah. yeah. And you can do any color and people can they'll do the ceiling a different color, but for us it was mm -hmm. like, let's just do the whole thing kind of similar, just mm -hmm. you know. And uh, it looks great. And then so you've got uh, rings in here, so you Yeah, so it's like a smaller L track. Okay. So you can I have an iPad mount that goes here. Okay. You can like chill, watch Netflix. Oh, you can you just know. hang it off. Yeah, yeah. Other, otherwise you can hang, you know, fruit basket. You could I mean you could do oh. whatever you want. And yeah. they're all over and that's the cool thing that Torig does cuz mm -hmm. these are helping hold these panels up. Right. But instead they have a purpose. It's multifunction. Yeah. So you could put a big um, like a netting Correct. in here if you wanted to and, People and just do hold that. a bunch of stuff. Yeah, yeah. put, put your a girlfriend up there if you wanted to. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever you want, you know. Whatever you're into, you know, we're not yeah, judging. No, we're not judging. Either, man. If so, you send us video, we'll be happy yeah, also. You know, you can put, a, put a jacket, put, I mean whatever gear cuz no, you know, that's they have different, different lines. You're always looking like one of the things I know about having a van, you're always looking for extra places to tuck things into. For sure. Yeah, jackets and things like that. So this is your AC, right? This Correct. Is so this is the Dometic. So this okay. is where like, versus like the things I picked and like, and mm -hmm. versus like Dometic makes. So we make the stove, make stove the fridge. Okay. Yep, fridge. so induction stove, 
12 volt fridge, and then a 12 volt AC. 12 volt AC, very yep. nice. So the thing is, often when people hear the word AC, they automatically go like, oh, at home I have AC. Mm -hmm. Well, at home you have permanent power. Yeah. And you're not even thinking about conserving mm -hmm. power, mm -hmm. you're just more so wasting, as I said. Yeah. So there's no way to have a 12 volt AC just running 24 seven, unless you mm -hmm. are like plugged in, had a generator or something. Yeah. But I want a 12 volt versus 110 because of that off-grid capability. I have a dog. It's nice to be able to go mountain biking, do whatever I want, mm -hmm. and I can leave the dog in here for six hours. Yeah, and I know it's gonna be good. Enough. Yeah. What's your battery situation in here? Do you have lithium? Lithium. Or? I have okay. three 100 amp hour lithium batteries. Okay. Yep. Where are those from, if you don't mind me asking? Battleborn. Battleborn. All right. Yeah. I love Battleborn. Battleborn. Good yeah. people. Yes, they are very good people, and they're here in Nevada also. They are absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So Battleborn batteries, Victron power management system, okay. mm -hmm. Zamp solar panels, which okay. Zamp is also part of the Dometic family now. Oh, it is? Yeah, it okay. is. Okay. So, um, yeah, and I and that was I had those before we even uh, acquired that company. Yeah. So um, how long can you, so 300 amp hours you said you it had? It pulls 16 to 22 amps per hour on average. Okay. And then obviously you don't get 100% of your battery bank. You okay. get it down to like 35%. Oh, cool. So, you know. Um, yeah. I've, had, I've ran it. It depends on the ambient temperature. Yeah, all going on and off. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like now in the winter time, probably for a, for a look for a while. Like absolutely. It's real hot outside. Yeah, and often for me, the kind of activities and the way I use this vehicle, mm -hmm. I chase good weather. Yeah. Right. To me, yeah. the heater is a more important thing. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Than the AC, because I can open the windows and yeah. even if it's in the 70s, it can get pretty chilly yeah. once you're not moving. Yeah. You know, and you're laying in bed. Depending on your insulation in here, which it feels like you probably have good insulation, even if you're in Florida, let's say, if you get some shade and you open both of these doors, you can get really good circulation. Do you have a, a Max fan? It looks like I do. I think yeah, you so, do back so there. It's yeah. a fantastic fan. So Dometic oh, makes those as well. Oh, Dometic yeah. makes the fantastic. Yeah. Okay. All right. And what you just said, so these actually come down mm -hmm. uh, and they zip in. And what's cool about it is this is magnetic. So you can still get out without the bugs coming in, right? Uh, yeah. So the stream so would come down. Then yeah, when you let go of it, it automatically right goes right back where it's supposed yeah. to go. Yeah. So then more air in this way, as well as there's windows in the doors that I can open. These are all awning style windows. So it's like, it's we have so much ability to have every single window open and air coming in. Who makes your uh, window covers? Torig. Torig makes yep. those, okay. And they make these as well. Uh, and they make these for the door. Uh, just Sprinter vans, or are they doing transit I think vans? Right now, but I okay. Th I, if I remember correctly, I think they are working on some some transit stuff. Yeah. Okay. All right. They probably. Uh, I don't know if they do ProMaster. Yeah, I they don't do think so. Okay. No, okay. So then there's another one right there. Yep, and it basically unclips. I like this for if you want to change in your mountain biking gear or mm -hmm. what or whatnot. And I can actually show you open it up. So is this a divider here too? It when is. you park somewhere you can Yeah, it so up. if I wanted to change it for mountain biking or mm -hmm. you know, you park somewhere and I like for me, the times where you're going cross country and it's not about glamorous, everything's mm -hmm. not, you know, uh B BLM, so out west, right. Bureau yeah. Land Management, yeah. it's like free places to, to camp and you yeah. get 14 day limits. Sometimes you're just at a rest stop. Mm -hmm. I've still been a pilot yeah. before. Cracker Barrel. Crack, hey, whatever, Walmart. Yeah. Well, yep, yeah. got it. So Even Lowe's. <laughs> yeah, right? You just open this thing up. Oh, this is cool. It has magnets, clips. Uh, is this Dometic? Uh, I'm sorry, is this um, Torig as Torig well? also? Yeah. Dude, uh, they, they think about everything. This is good. It, it's apparent when I said detail. These guys use oh, yeah. their products. Yeah. They talk to the consumers. They know what the consumers are doing, mm -hmm. and they get to know each consumer to know this is for you, this isn't for you. Yeah. Instead of here's one size fits all, just get yeah. it. So if you're you know? parked somewhere, just for people who don't realize that, if you're parked somewhere, you could close off the front, and if someone looks inside, it'll just look like an empty van. They can't see yeah. all this stuff going yep. on back here. Yeah. Also, even outside of that, the nice thing too is there's times where if it's super hot. Mm -hmm. I don't have a dog or anything. Why do I need to air condition the back? Mm -hmm. So this traps the heat and the yeah. air up front, yeah. which is also yeah. really cool. Yeah. And what's nice is then if I go somewhere and I'm, I'm going to stay longer, right? I actually want to set up camp. Mm -hmm. The nice thing is I have these that go in the windows up here. Right. So now I can feel like a bigger house because I can sit up here and no one can see in and I'm not limiting my yeah. square footage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can have you privacy. Know, yeah, because yeah. for me, I actually like I like to live out of a suitcase mm -hmm. just because putting stuff in here, because the cabinets are small, you can get bigger cabinets. Mm -hmm. But 
once again, I've seen upright cabinets, but then it takes away from the feel. Yeah. It makes you feel claustrophobic. No, this is great. Well, I think you know? the way you have it here. What do you use for communication? I notice you've got some uh, yeah, radios. Yeah, so up I have stuff. ham and CB. Okay. So you know, for me, you know, I work for Dometic. I also do like freelance things. So. It's nice to go out from right if I'm going with Mike, last line defense, go mm -hmm. with like AJ yeah. Photoron or any of these guys. They have radios. Yeah. I need to be able to this is we joke, call this like command center. Right. Like <laughs> who's gonna cook dinner? Yeah. Who's gonna have the place to get out of the weather? Uh -huh. You know, even like it's awesome. I've been in really cold temperatures and people wanna look at photos that we got mm -hmm. from the trip and you got a desk and I already mm -hmm. sit down, and you're not in a rooftop tent. Yeah. yeah. So we all come in here and hang out and like like you can see, we can have four people in the chairs. We even had like two other people in the bed, and there's we have yeah. six people in here hanging out. So speaking of the back part here, let's. Uh, what can you tell us about what's going on here? Uh, other than obviously we've seen these uh, bench seats you have. Yep. It looks like you have storage under there also. Yep. Storage all through here. Yeah. Actually. So I keep this as the kitchen area mm -hmm. right here. Um, this I use as a trash uh, trash area. Mm -hmm. And for me, I'm like conscious about like I'm not trying to waste plastic, and mm -hmm. you know I want to be mm -hmm. like thoughtful what I'm doing so mm -hmm. I actually use Whole Foods or Trader Joe's bags as my trash can okay and it's perfect because it fits in there great and when you get somewhere like a gas station this shoves in there versus yeah. these, those big trash bags yeah you gotta find no. a dumpster yeah that's what we do we use smaller bags this goes right in there yeah. like no problem and also mm -hmm. what's cool is from your side you can actually mm -hmm. see it quite well there's yeah. another latch there's a pass through here yep so then you can get the trash you can get to the trash the or whatever you need okay. From the other side, and that can also be a table yeah, if it was. Me, uh, let me bring the camera over here. If it was able to open all the way open right. without that being there, right. you can use it as a table if you're outside camping. Oh, cool. Yeah, these. I love these cabinets. Man. Yeah, that, like I said, they think awesome. about. Awesome. Yeah. So then, you know, there's these cabinets as well. I just went to IKEA and got a little basket. Keep your coffee, mm -hmm. you know, breakfast items in one. You have chips, snacks, food. You know, add more food with. You know, magma, they make a killer stackable. I can tell you actually use this thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, everything in it. They this use. is your for real uh, rig here. It is. Yeah. It is. Second home. So, mm -hmm. yeah, the magma, like they have their pots. I don't know if mm -hmm. you've ever seen them. They're awesome because they stack on top of themselves. Mm -hmm. And then, when you're cooking, ah, they clip together. I see. Yeah, yeah, so it takes up space. That's cool. Yeah, and these can be induction, gas. So mm -hmm. I can actually take it from the induction stove and then take it to my my little grill outside. That's for multi-purpose. Cool. Yeah. So magma. so magma. Yep. Magma. 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 <laughs> yes. Magma. So you kind of find these products and these brands that really just like you only have so much space. Yeah. You know. The thing is that you're finding them from just. Years of using, using it, it and and correct, yeah, so absolutely. Yeah, yeah, otherwise, like, you don't have to get into the nitty gritty. This is from, like, I don't know, it's a cheap bowl, yeah, it's a bowl, right. yeah, you know, yeah, even, yeah. I don't, I, I didn't go anything crazy, like, some some stuff I've been using for 10 years and got from Goodwill, no joke. Mm -hmm. And it's like, cool, that. it's a nice van, but like, why, yeah, there's you know, nothing I, wrong with that, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, you find things that you work and you kind of just yeah. like. You know, these are great too, like reusable Ziplocs from mm -hmm. Stasher. Then you can use them for multi-purpose. So oh, cool. if I go on a trip, I can put food in it. Or like we'll use them for tea bags. Yeah. And I've actually never seen that. That's yeah, cool. they're awesome. So um, so going back here with the bed, yep. uh, so do you looks like you have a big storage thing under this. We'll have to go around to the back side. Right? Correct. We'll go to the back. I'll how, show it. How big you. is the bed here? Uh, so it's a little bigger than the queen, if I remember correctly. So yeah. once again, people will run the cabinets all the way back adding that claustrophobic feel. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Because if you're in there, like if you were to lay under this right now and your head was right here, yeah, you're just so close. Yeah. And then if there's two people in there, that's why I didn't want the cabinets to go all the way back. It's less of a coffin feel. Correct. Yeah. Way less than a coffin. So I noticed you have bags over there. Yep. Where are those bags from? Turek as well. Turek. Yeah, they, they make a so lot of stuff. So what are they hanging? What are they hanging on? Yeah, so they just mount right into the side of the wall. Okay. And like, for instance, everyone uses it different ways. So I went on a hunt recently. My buddy took like a Nalgene back there. Mm -hmm. uh, you can plug your phone into those reader lights that are on the back wall mm -hmm. and then put it in the bag. I leave random stuff like chapstick, floss, mm -hmm. random things that like, Yes, yeah. typically at home, maybe you don't have that at your bed, but like yeah. when you're in a van, yeah. there's certain things that like... You just put your you hand, just, rummage around. Yeah, right? Maybe you need some lotion. Maybe yeah. you 
chapstick for me is the biggest thing where I'm like, holy crap, I'm not getting up, I'm exhausted, but I need yeah. some chapstick. Yeah, I go to the shows just to collect the chapstick. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, 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 I got a whole pocket full. Chapstick, so, lotion, yeah. the little bottles. Yeah. All right, cool. Maybe we should go outside and Perfect. see what's on the back. Check out the back. Where's your, where's your control panel for everything? Yeah, so oh, right here. Yeah, right here. So what? this panel's from where? Um, Sam. Okay. Yep. Okay, so I just start that again. So that's a control panel. How much power? Go ahead. Yep. So it has how much power is coming in right now? It'll say how much power is going out. Eight watts. We're just running lights though. Uh -huh. Nothing else is kicking in. Uh -huh. You know. Is so, that a Xantrax control panel? Or, uh, or, or it's the Victron. 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 Yep. Yeah, okay. Yep. So okay. both Victron. Up here is basically just saying I'm plugged into power. I don't want more than 15 amps coming in because yeah. it's only a 15 amp plug anyway. Yeah. So if I could take more power, all I got to do is. Dial it down. Yeah, yeah. Where, where I can control how much is coming in. Yeah, if you're plugged into a 30 amp, you can go yep. up to 30 or yep. 50. So, yeah, so otherwise, right now, I can turn it off. Then I'm not accepting power in anymore. Mm -hmm. And if I turn it on, on, this is for off grid camping. Then you'll hear it. The inverter is on. Yeah. So then I can run, you know, my, my stove, things like that. But when it's on charge only and we're plugged in, we get to use all these products anyway because they're yeah. running off shore power. Yeah. Plus, you can recharge a little bit if it's not using it, right? Yeah. Okay. For sure. Yeah, that's very cool. So you heard it came uh, back on yeah. anyway. Mm -hmm. Can we actually see the batteries or are they hidden away? Yeah, we can. I can okay. show you everything yeah. once we get to the back. And then okay. the last thing I was going to say is. Turing makes this cover too, but this is a little pass-through right pass here. This pass-through cover? Oh, yeah, okay. Let's so, go, so let him get in there and give us a little... Uh, yeah, you're, you're, so it's... Get you're good. Yeah. Perfect. All right. So it's super small, but like with taking the table out, which I actually I do a lot mm -hmm. more than you'd think, uh -huh. it, it gives you access to the back. And that gives me access to usually two decent-sized duffel bags mm -hmm. of product that like I'll put my clothes right here mm -hmm. and things that I'm just like, you know what? I don't want it in the cabinets right. full-time. I'd rather mm -hmm. have more important things. If you're like camping, I'm not in a rush to get my clothes. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can walk outside and grab them. Yeah. So, but I'll put them right here and grab whatever I need easily. That's cool. Yeah, so multi-purpose. What are your floors? Um, it is one sheet of, it's kind of like a linoleum. I forget the exact okay. kind, but it's tougher. So it's, yeah, so it's one piece, so yep, no water can go under there Correct. throughout the van, okay. Yep. And it goes underneath the cabinets as well. Yeah, so they probably started with that and then built, obviously, Correct. built everything it up. Correct, built yeah. up. And you'll see in the back there's a whole different flooring. Okay. This is the garage, right? This is the house, that's yeah. the garage. Okay, cool. Let's go check that out. Before we go to the back, Larry's just going to tell us uh, what's up front here. You've got a big roof rack up there, I see. Yes, and I, I want to emphasize on all this stuff too because for people who don't uh, maybe know as much about vehicles or like getting out there, you don't need always the highest end products. You don't need as many lights as I have right. on here or anything like that, right? Mm -hmm. If you want it, you have the means or anything like that, sure, that's fine. Mm -hmm. For what I do, being on the show, working with amazing companies and all, mm -hmm. these are the products that I chose to be best fit from the relationships I have with great individuals that work at these companies right. or own these companies, mm -hmm. as well as what I aesthetically thought looked great and also hadn't been done. Like, you know, most of the time vans do van stuff, off-road vehicles do off-road stuff, mm -hmm. but why aren't we mixing things together? Yeah, right? I'm totally with so, you. So, you know, it's a Rome-built rack, also too, that like people put everything together. So I went with a rack that I could stand on, mount gear to, yeah. uh, and it just looks like it's yeah. made for the van. Yeah, it looks great. And then, what? so a couple of things. Uh, one, I noticed that you have the awnings on both sides since you obviously have double two door. door. Yeah, double doors. Which, cool. now we talk about wind earlier, right? Uh -huh. Coming through. Now I, I don't have to chase the shade and move the vehicle. Uh -huh. I'm gonna have shade on both sides. Right, yeah. It's almost like a, your own bat wing. <laughs> That's what it looks like when <laughs> yeah. it's open. It's quite ridiculous. Imagine. Yeah, so, I gotta find a picture of that. And then also up there, um, how is that clearing the AC? Yeah, so our AC is so low profile. You can see it on top oh, of this display it? right here. Oh. Yeah, that's the 12 volt AC. Oh, oh. so I have to look into that. Absolutely, yeah. it's I might have it's to do awesome. Some research so, into that domain. Yeah, 12 volt. Yeah. yeah, so it's low profile, barely sticks up. Uh huh. Got this burly rack, hold the awnings, can walk on it. Okay. Has uh, you know enough lights to light up the world to make yeah. it feel like daytime. So this roof rack goes solid all the way across. Correct. Even though you have an AC. And you still have the your uh, fantastic fan. Correct. Just cut there. out areas. When I ordered it, I just told them where the AC and the fan was going to be, and they cut they, out they the cut exact 
parts where they were going to stick through. Who is that again? Rome Built. They're Rome out of Bill. Portland, Oregon. Okay, so cool. you'll notice that too. There's a lot of products on this van that are made in America. Right. A lot. Yeah. A lot more than other builds, especially okay. like yeah. You know, Rome Built, made in America. You know, Baja is another American mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. You know, got Backwoods. Ba oh, Backwoods did this? Front okay. bumper and rear bumper. Yeah, awesome we, saw, guys. we saw them at uh, Overland East. Yep. They were yep. out there, yeah. So I worked them. They have a bull bar yeah. one, but to me, the yeah. bull bar gets a bit of like distracting. Yeah. Aesthetically. Yeah. Like, and they've got a lot of stuff. I think they're doing stuff for the uh, Ford Transit vans. Absolutely. What we have. They are. Also. Yeah. They're, they're stepping it up. So I like what you did here. Is this wrapped? It is, you know, okay. so. <laughs> this is more of my own thing, not like all buyers, of the, I mean, or like consumers the same way. Like, people always choose a color of a vehicle. Right. I had a color that I wanted, didn't have it, and then when I realized that the white van was actually cheaper right. and easier to get. Plus, it's better when you're in a hot climate. There we go. It is actually van. a lot cooler temperature wide. Yeah. So, for me, it was like, this is a challenge. How can I make the white van look badass? Oh, okay. Right? And yeah. sure, people have wrapped it before, yeah. but there was a lot more elements. Yeah, like, people say that they're wrapping this or putting black here so that you don't have re reflectivity going into the, you don't have the glare. Now, obviously, the hood is sloped, so you're not sure. going to have the, gla the glare. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it does look bad. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it it looks pulls good. all of this together. There's a little bit of the, the there's a small glare, but not a lot. And also, yeah. With vehicles, like your hood is always a thing that gets chipped up, mm -hmm. and this is like something that you can see. You can see the oh, paint, yeah. Yeah. but on most of these, it didn't even affect the paint; it only affect the wrap. Yeah. So then it's protecting the vehicle yeah. as well. That's a. I, I like this. I'm gonna. I'm gonna definitely steal that from you. No, I. I, yeah. I like. I'll put my own load switch hey, on it. Don't there you worry. go. Don't there worry. you go. <laughs> so, and I did the same thing with all the emblems. I oh, don't like did. chrome, so cool. you'll see on the back too. It's yeah. blacked out. So, and then uh, you've got your tow stuff here. Have you used this stuff? It looks like you have. I've used the winch once. Yeah, once you know, it's okay. one of those things that you don't use often, but if you need right. it. Yeah. You and you don't it. have it. Yeah. 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 So. Okay. Yeah, so the winch, more Baja lights inside. Yeah, lots of lights, I'm sure, when you're going off-road. Yeah, huge... and for me, it's like, like I went elk hunting two weeks ago, and to get to where I was going, very beneficial, because I've never been down that road before. Right. The last thing I'm going to do is like get farther up and be like, yep, nowhere to turn around, or I'm going to get stuck. Or yeah, so. absolutely. Yep. Uh, rims? Yep. Black Rhino. Black yeah, Rhino. so with the rims, and, and uh, did you change any of your suspension stuff? In? Yeah, absolutely. So. Black Rhino rims, 17s. I uh, got the KO2s from BFG. Awesome tire. Uh, reason going with them is rated for heavy weight. Okay. Yeah, for, for this load that I have. And so I it's, 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 a, uh, is it's, it does it have a commercial weight rating? Yeah, I think it's. Uh, I'm trying to remember if these are E's or how they rate them. But that's one of the things you need to be careful yep. with. Yep, E-range, so it's rated like more of like a trailer tire. Not okay. a trailer, but you know what I mean? Heavy, yeah, heavy, heavy duty, yeah. Yep. Because so, if, you've got a, if you've got a tire that can't actually carry all the weight that's going to be in there, it's dangerous. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, so you need to make sure it's not just like, oh, I like this tire. Like, it's made for the vehicle. Yeah. Specked out. Yeah, and so, that's what I hear, the KO2s, right? Yep. Yeah, I hear a lot of people uh, using them. They're great tires. Yeah. Yeah, so, and then with this setup of suspension, it's uh, a rip kit from uh, Agile Off-Road. So okay. it's made for this van. Okay. So sho the shocks are spec for it. Um, lifts it a little bit and then otherwise uh, the leaf springs in the back are more heavy duty so it can support now that it's built out it's not a cargo van anymore right. you know it's a camper okay. it's an rv mm -hmm. so fully redid that added on these amp research uh, so do steps. these uh pop out or are they like uh, static position yeah they, they pop in and out we'll actually uh close this door for one second and then we'll let her back out but we're closing the door Bam. Now you don't even see them out of the way. Yeah. Looks great. Nothing to get caught on. Yeah. With a lot of them. Not going to tear them off. The first time to go yeah. For right. Yeah. And I see you've got a little light under there. Absolutely. So they at night they shine when it comes. I also have lights underneath the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So all my lights are connected to a Switch Pro. You know, I said earlier connecting the RV or van with off road. So a right. lot of elements for all of So okay. I can dim all the lights through an app. I can just control them through a button. Control them from an app. I have lights on the side of the the rack. Right, on both I see sides that. Yeah. On the back. 
you're walking around yeah. at night, you can see what you're doing. Or like this trip, I had to put like a side by side on the back of the van, like I can see, I don't have the headlamp. Mm -hmm. Or because I do events, you can go do something with Traeger or Red Bull or someone and anybody, and then at least like sometimes you need light. Yeah. So not for everybody, but like I said, no. a lot of things. It's are useful. Good. Yeah, you'll find out. So I see here on the side, that's your power hookup. Yep. Uh, let's go over here. Let's take a look. Those steps were very responsive, by the way. They are. Like, Really yeah, and that's the hard thing too is nothing's really made for double doors. So Torek did a great job of integrating well, I mean, that into the no, system mm -hmm. to make sure there was no problem. Yeah. So, so I see you've got a smart plug here on the side. Yep. So this is for uh, shore power mm -hmm. coming in. And then this plug right here is an SAE plug. So that way I can add more solar panels directly to my power bank. Oh, okay. So I can add another two, three hundred watts of solar. Okay. And then you can chase the sun versus maybe I'm parking in the shade. Yeah. Or maybe the sun is at a lower angle and I'm not hitting it up. Right. What uh what solar panels do you like to use? So Zamp. So this Zamp. is another. This is one of their Obsidian. Look how thin it is. This is the exact panel that's on top. Oh okay. But it's a portable mode, so then you can actually close it up, close it up and set it in the back, and then plug it in. But when it goes directly into here, the panels need to have a solar charge controller mm -hmm. because it's not connected through my Victron system. Oh okay. If that makes sense. Yeah. So yeah. for for anybody else, it's like. It needs to regulate how much power is coming in because otherwise, if your battery bank's full, you don't want to keep charging yeah. something that's full. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So why do we have the mirror here? What are we looking at underneath? Yeah, so I don't know if you can get in there, Lola. So, yeah, so we, we added this mirror here because Dometic also owns a company called ProHeat. Pro so it's a, a heavy-duty heater. There's actually one sitting over here, oh, but this I is see. what we have underneath right here with the exhaust. So it's a diesel heater, 30,000 BPUs. Okay. And it could work at a 16,000 feet elevation. Okay. A lot of your small heaters have elevation. So a lot of people are like, oh, you're not going to 16,000 feet elevation. Uh, that's what that is over there. That's the heater. So it pulls about six, uh, 0.6 gallons an hour uh, when it's burning. But obviously, it depends on how much it's So it's sipping the diesel. Correct. Yeah. Uh, and it's connected to the tank. Correct. And, and on average, I think it's pulling way less than that, or burning yes. way less than that, to be honest. Small space. 30,000 is overkill. But it does air, water, and if you wanted to get crazy, you could do heated floors with it as well. Because it's an overkill. It's 30,000 BTUs. Yeah, it's more than you need. Yeah, absolutely. It's a small package also. 100%. Yeah. So small for how powerful that is. They use it for tractors in Canada and like negative... 40, you know, basically to keep, it'll do engine block too. It'll oh. keep the engine block. Okay, yeah, so you won't uh, get your diesel all gelled up. <laughs> Correct. So the engine's not frozen. Yeah, yeah. exactly, it turn on. So yeah. it, it has so much capability. Yeah, no, that's cool. So that's this right here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not that heavy. Pick it up. I mean, oh, that's what's see. wild. It's yeah. Oh, yeah, that's not. Yeah. Not for what it is. The way it's built and packaged, it might be something Bro, he is. It is. I mean, that's basically what it is. It's more like a military grade. Yeah, that's cool. So you're getting something that's. You know. So did you have to modify anything under there to fit that in? So no, it just attached right under, okay. uh, you know, tour, it, the box right there. That's what you're looking at under That's there. what's under there, okay. Yeah, so Turek, I mean, they built a little mount for it and then drilled mm -hmm. right in. Yeah, I can and, see, and it, okay. You can see where it attaches. Attaches right into where the tire mount is. Yeah, and then right into it. And then the pulse coming off is your vent. Yep, the exhaust. Yep, that's what the other one is for the air. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's the whole thing. I saw you spare a tire was down there too. I'm surprised you left it down there. A lot of people, you know, they get they don't want it down there. If you got a flat, it's harder to get out, right? But I I roll the risk with the odds of you getting a flat, right? And sure, possible, but I'd rather have the space to put gear on the back. Yeah. And you'll see, like, you know, I added a ladder. Right, so you got a ladder here. What's yep. this? Uh, is this tour rig also? Or? This is actually by Backwoods. So Backwoods, okay. Yep. okay so cool. same front and rear okay. bumper brand. Oh, right, that's yep. what you said earlier. Yep, <laughs> so having this box for me is awesome because. You can do straps and put the power cord. There's times where I put gas. There's times where, say I was like fishing and I want to put waders or something in there. Things that are dirty that I don't want to put in the van. Yeah. 
I can so, put in here, which yeah. to me was more important than putting the tire here. Right. And the tire is quite heavy, so it makes this door a pain in the butt yeah. to actually come up to and open it. And you don't have, you you have like a cassette toilet situation going on, right? Yep, it goes underneath the seat in there, and I take yeah. it in and out. Trips like these, I don't, I'm at the trade show. Right, so really you don't, don't have any sewage issues here, but you could... Correct, and the reason why I do that mm -hmm. is when you do septic water things like that for gray water and mm -hmm. it goes underneath the van as something to freeze something can be punctured. something that can be punctured it's more and weight. for yeah. it's more weight and for my lifestyle unnecessary mm -hmm. and, and and also as i said earlier like you said 25 27 gallons of water it's not a shower mm -hmm. it's a wet bath yeah <laughs> and you know what yeah. that does i can't quantify the space mm -hmm. that it takes up to yeah have that. yeah it so, really depends on what you do. Correct. How you do, how you do your thing. Yeah. How you do your thing. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. What else do we have uh, on the on the outside here before yeah, we go so in? Yeah. So for sure. So. Okay. Got the uh, the ladder and this piece right here, the yeah, Sherpa. This is, also back no, this this is, is Owl Vans. Yeah, yep. Vance. Yeah. I've so seen this. so yeah. yeah, John over at Owl, amazing yeah. guy. Awesome He's doing some killer things. Yeah. What's awesome is it changes out these hinges. Right. And then basically because it's right on the hinge. It holds an insane amount of weight. Yeah. So you could put mountain bikes on it. You could put. Yeah. Uh, what I do is right now it's empty, but I switch. Kind of what I do. I like the Molly like modular ability. Yeah. I can put like a kind of like a trasheroo bag on the back for trash because that's a small trash can and yeah. I can keep adding to it. You could it. put jerry cans. Jerry cans. You can yeah. have shovel, max tracks, and yeah. I kind of just play. Back Whatever and you forth. want. Yeah. And then times like these, like whatever, it's just there and. Yeah. It's fine. It just looks cool. It's, it's like an erector set. Yeah, pull, push up pull, yeah, 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 yeah. Just start pull ups. Yeah, exactly. Do you, I, I don't know if you asked her, do you have a generator? Uh, no. Okay. Nope. So I, everything does fine just with solar. And when I, was I drive. Say, even if you had a little Honda or something to hang off the back yeah. of the. Correct. So. In, in, go ahead. I was going to say, some people do that on here. They'll cut a hole in here, oh. put a marine port, put it in the generator, run it. That way no one can steal it because you can lock it and run a cable yeah. Yeah. to it. Yeah. So with the generator, um, do you just have the one alternator in the engine? Do you have a second alternator or anything? Yes, like that? I have one. Just one? Yeah. And I, okay, and you can recharge your stuff off of that? Correct. Your 300 amp. 300 amp hours plus the solar. The right. solar is about to get upgraded to about okay. 400 watts. Yeah. But even with what I have, the only time I have issue is if it's bad weather and I'm using the induction stove a lot. Induction oh, yeah. stove, doesn't matter the brand, it takes a lot. Yeah. But what I told you before, I don't use it that often unless I'm stealth camping mm -hmm. or I'm uh, bad weather. Yeah. So because of that, everything has such low power draw mm -hmm. that and so is there a DC to DC in there for that just to not burn out your alternator? You have something in between for when you're charging up the batteries? Yes, yeah, so when I'm driving, it's pulling, pushing power to the battery bank. Right. There's a charge controller for that. In yep. there. And yeah, that's and keeping you from overrunning correct. the alternator. Yep, okay. absolutely. Okay. Yeah, so. Yeah. Um, like I just did a whole lithium stuff, so I don't, I'm, I'm not an expert on this at all. Yeah, you know? yeah. But I just did, I just converted, like my van, I bought it had a generator and it had um, AGM batteries and then I pulled that out and added a uh, Battleborn lithium. Okay. Um, I did the uh, the 8Ds. Those are like the 270. I put yeah. two of those in there. Yeah. So you had to get, I had to get a whole setup for that. Yeah, and you'll yeah. see back here in the garage. This is awesome, man. There's Look a crap this, ton of space. This space Walt. Yeah. Yeah. And I and this I love these cabinets that you have. Same. Yeah. Lower and the higher. Your, your outdoor cooking stuff is a Back, back here, back yeah. Back there. I can put I can put bikes back here. Oh, you two bikes. Room, you put I got a lot of room. It's like a you truck. Put bikes back. Here. Put a motorcycle. Yeah. yeah so okay. I have downhill e-bikes, and then I can put bags, anything else I need for the show. Like I said, we've been storing things you in here. You could put some people up. back here. Yeah, really I mean, really people could sleep back here if yeah. they really yeah. had to to get yeah. out of the weather. Yeah. So, yeah, you'll see. Rig, they don't skimp oh, on anything. Nice. Yeah, yeah, so like they got heat pads on the batteries to keep okay. them warm, so you're not, you know, worried about it in cold weather. Everything's basically lined out to know which yeah. breakers for what. So you have a, what what um, inverter do you have? Is that like a thousand? Three thousand. Three thousand. Victron. Okay. okay. Yeah, you have the Victron. Okay. Yep. So all Victron parts or components. Yeah. Uh, some Blue Sea, as you can see right yeah. here. And the nice thing too is it's wired to where if my uh, van battery ever dies, I can jump myself off oh, this system. Yeah. yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Who did this setup for you? All Turek. 
All very totally. Neat. Yeah, really very nice. neat. Very neat. Like yeah. I said, attention to detail. They don't yeah. mess around. And you've got uh, three 100 amp hour batteries, like yep. you said. Yep, exactly. And then I have little extra like fuses and the block fuses, just things that I need in this yeah. area to use. Yeah. And then, you know, we didn't talk about it in the in the front part, and I actually have to crawl in here to show. But okay. you've um, got, this is a big tray in here, by the way, that he's on. Yeah, yeah. So and if we I'll wanted to, we could slide him in and out of here. 100%. <laughs> yeah, so... I, I have a lot crammed in here, like extra toilet Beach paper, towels, towels yeah. <laughs> stuff for the dog, whatever. But I have a sound system up front and a separate sound system in the back of the van. Oh, cool. Yeah, because when I'm driving, why am I playing? We talked about the heat and you yeah. see why am I playing stuff, so I separated it. Yeah, the party's always at your place. I'm yeah, guessing. exactly, right? So <laughs> extra space back here, okay. another sub. And this um, is cool. You can put stuff up here on the shelves. And then use the L-Track to, to lock them in. down. Yeah. Yep. Okay. This bed actually comes out too if it needed to. Oh, it does? Yep. Okay. So have like little twists. See right oh, here. I see. Yep. So you could take it off this frame if you needed to get something bigger in here. Correct. If yeah. you were moving, whatever. Stuff or whatever. Yeah, okay. it just has the ability to come out. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So there's so much in here that I like. So with these cabinets, is this your water stuff? This is. So okay. I'll show you on this side. This stuff looks great, man. Yeah. They they said they, they get after so the water pumps in there, the 27 gallon water tanks in there. You can see the water moving on it. Yeah. Then we have that uh, reservoir which goes to the heater mm -hmm. the, the, for the pro heat that I'll show you. Pro heat heats up yeah. heats up this therm therm uh, thermal mass. Right. And then when the inside temperature changes, then obviously uh, it, it, it uh, the the heater turns on and a fan blows hot air Moves it into around. the cabin. Yeah. Okay. That's very cool. Yeah. These cabinets are great. I love yeah. these cabinets. Love them. Yeah. There we go. See it. All right. Hey, yeah. What's up? So yeah. then the the slide right here. This yeah. was custom built by my buddy in Salt Lake. This is okay. aluminum. Bumpers, aluminum. Everything on it. So aluminum. saving weight. Saving weight. Because these things are already gutless, maxed out. Yeah. Typically, anyway. <laughs> it's one of those things of like a chassis that you want to do more. But Mercedes isn't building this for. Yeah, us. I mean, what do you have on They're, this? About 180 or 90 horsepower or something? Yeah, I mean, it's not the much. Are pretty They're, high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The torque's high. Yeah. The torque's high. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so. yeah. my my uh, my transit van has more horsepower. 100. percent Just saying, Larry. No, I'm not I know. bragging. You're trying to race. On you. Yeah. <laughs> well, just to, you'll attach you to the winch. I'll pull you back. <laughs> so, but yeah, yeah, so I have this full extension. Yeah, we have to go out on the road sometime. I know. It's gonna be fun. But yeah, you can show me the ropes. Here we go. Uh, so, you know, and I can show yeah, you some stuff. That. Hey, yeah. yeah. So I, you know, yeah. I, I dabble. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. So, but um, I can see. I, yeah. I know what these. What are, this freedom sticks in these bags. Yeah. Right. right? No. So. So yeah, this is cool. I like look, the flooring under here. Yeah. So that's like a coin floor, more yeah. durable. Like I said, different, Garage. different. Yeah. yeah. Material. But when you're in here, I mean, now you. Oh, that's for my scope. Look at that. Final oh. stuff. <laughs> So, but when you're back here, now I can access whatever I need. Right. These open up more, you know, just yeah, you can swing people walking around. Yeah. So when this is fully open, I, I don't, like, I'm not making things uncomfortable for myself yeah. to get around. Yeah, like, having and, to yeah. Correct, and if that was, wasn't behind you, then you can do the same yeah. for over there. So you could load, unload, or you get where you're going, everything's in here. Yep. You could just and these bags with my clothes out. or whatever I have that I can access there, mm -hmm. now I'm accessing them here. Okay, that's awesome. And also, your your dog probably loves uh, going. Yeah, here, she's, I'm sure. she tries to come back here because she knows there's uh, extra snacks and things for yeah. her. <laughs> yeah, you know? this is awesome, man. Yeah, I really uh, I really enjoyed this. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else you have left to show. No, I mean the last few things were basically yeah. We put oh. L track in these as well to oh, mount down gear, mount down the bikes. Yeah. Once again, having the modularity. Right. Yeah. So and if you've got bikes in here, yeah, you can lock them in. Yeah, it makes a difference. And then outdoor shower. Yeah. So basically just connects into here and can shower out the back, have a screen yeah. that attaches to the doors and Yeah. What's the it. longest you've lived out of this van? Um right now I think um it's like about nine weeks. Nine weeks. Yeah, but then I'm back home for a half a week and then another right. six yeah. weeks and then back that's home. A, that's a while though. Yeah, so I think in the last year it has thirty thousand miles. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So the longest I've stayed on the road without like yeah, flopping around it's close to three hundred days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Before, almost a year. Yeah, almost a year before going back and that was out of a rooftop tent oh wow yeah 
So, okay. And I've done a, like multiple <laughs> uh, month trips to Alaska out okay. of a Lear Topper. And then, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you, he's trying to tell me he's for real. So. Yeah. So yeah. This, this is yeah. this is kind of the I'm excited. I, yeah. You know, uh, as I say, you earn your turns sure. or whatever. And yeah. Like snowboarding and stuff like. Yeah. This is this is after a long time. I didn't start at the more glamp level. Okay. Worked your way up. You worked yeah, your way up. Yeah, I get it. So, I get it. So it turns out we do have Larry to show us some of the new stuff here at Dometic. So hit us with what's cool, new that you guys have going on here. Absolutely. Man. So uh, as I mentioned, the categories before we have RV, CPV, commercial vehicles, and we have outdoor. A lot of these products, these are our outdoor products, right? So these are things that you can take for a day adventure, a weekend adventure, or a week on the road, mm -hmm. right? If you have a Subaru, if you have a RAV4, if you have an F-150, no matter what it is, or even the van, these can be used for that. Or if you're just going to, I don't know, work for the day. Right. So I say that because, you know, we have water bottles, yeah. we have coffee, you know, containers, we have you know, this could be for wine, drink, whatever yeah, you want, oh, right? Just any kind of bottle possible. Um, and then we have the patrol coolers, so Rotomoto cooler, okay. right? Can be used for a picnic. And then we have the CFX series, which is kind of the next level up from this. So instead of a cooler, you have a portable fridge. Okay. These fridges, volt. these are 12 volt fridges. So we have a single zone, which means you can fit uh, one area of products, right? So. With these, it can be a fridge or a freezer, anywhere from 50 degrees all the way to negative eight. You just set the temperature, and then anything under 32, you start getting into freezer mode. Okay. Anything above, fridge. Yeah, okay. And we have many different sizes of that. Mm. Uh, these pull less power than your iPhone charging. Okay. So this could work on your pontoon boat, your ski boat, your you know patio. Not people go inside. You're having a barbecue. You can use it in the back of your truck for off-roading. You can use it for hunting. You can use it for at the range, mm -hmm. having food in your car. Like it's endless. Okay. It's just a portable fridge versus an RV fridge is mounted mm -hmm. in the trailer, in the van, in the platform. Yeah, right? you could take this out, move Portable it around. Portable products, so that's right. the difference of like. Yeah, if our you need extra divisions. space, like our fridge is a smaller one, like yours. Yep. There you go. You've Living got, on the road, long yeah. extra space. Yeah, more stuff. So. Forty amp hour battery to plug into it. This mm -hmm. is one of the smaller fridges, right? But yeah, you just basically plug this into your car, plug the fridge into this. Now it turns any car into like that RV vibe, because. When you take your key out, the outlets turn off. So if you have the fridge, I mean, have the battery plugged into an outlet, when you drive it charges, and when you stop, it powers the fridge. How long can the 40 amp? About uh, two days. Two days, okay. But if you were driving, like, it would charge and get longer. Yeah, because some people will camp somewhere and then go hike or mountain bike or, you know, or at least go sightseeing. Yeah. Do some What kind of room do we have in this? So this is a 25. Does it matter which one you use the 40? The no, nope, it'll oh, power all the way up to our 100. Oh, oh, okay, I see. So these are massive, you know, uh, and changes in length a little bit due to ambient temperature, how many times you're opening it, mm -hmm. and what temperature it's set on. Right, okay. Yep. Right. But what's nice about fridges versus coolers is you lose a lot of your space mm -hmm. when it goes to that. Okay. Yep. So really, uh, yeah, you're getting so much more out of a fridge than you are a cooler. Yeah. And your and your food's being regulated at the same temperature. Yeah. 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 So, get through with the water. Oh. Water yeah. Water yeah. Water yeah. Water. So it's one a little closer to get to. Okay. Yeah. Let's go to that one. Yeah. So the new series that came out that this guy actually designed right here. Oh. Okay. Um, is we got a water jug right here, mm -hmm. right? This thing is awesome because a lot of these jerry cans you see, like first off, they're they're heavy, they're like just like they're oddly like shaped where like like for instance if I go out with a lady, she's not picking the thing up. It weighs too much just because of the size. And within cars especially, there's a lot of wasted space when it comes to where the fender well is. This fits perfectly in front or behind the fender well depending on the car. So the design is like made for that. How many gallons is it? It's 11 liters is 11, how we're doing it. 11 liters. Liters, okay. yep. So nice thing too is it has this little pour handle right here. Okay. Pick it up. You have the ability to do that. You have the ability to put on this cap right here if it was sideways. You could, you know, fill up an algae, fill oh, up whatever you need, right? Um, for a little bit more extreme or outdoor, you know, or more like military purpose, mm -hmm. you could put a filter on it, a pump filter, oh, okay. because you could then fill this up from a creek, pond, anything like that. Um, you could do a gravity filter as well to clip into here. 
Okay. If this thing gets dirty on other water jugs, you can't even clean here. You can put your hand in it and clean the whole inside. Right, everything's being thought about with this. Do you guys you know? make the filters, pumps, that kind of stuff? Or? We do not. Definitely. Yeah, so you can buy those. Pump though, so this is why all this is really cool and, we're, and, and you know, Owen and the team have worked on is they came out with this, which is a 12 volt rechargeable water faucet. Uh -huh. So now you can put this anywhere in the back of your car, fill up once again, like your Nalgene, you can wash your dishes, you could, you know, fill the dog bowl what, without having to pick this thing up, you could have two of these sitting back there that are already strapped down. And because it's magnetic and rechargeable, it moves, right? So it has two different pucks uh, that come with it. They're magnetic, see? One for like more on a table, if you wanna take it out of the car, you're prepping dinner or whatever. Or one that's, you can see it's raised. So it can't slide off. Yeah. So, it's really so if, you're, if you've got like a trailer or you've got all your cooking stuff set, set up at the back yeah. or whatever. Or if you, you build a van out and you don't want to have pipes going everywhere yeah. by a pump, like yeah. realistically, it's not like on a house where you're getting so much pressure anyway that you need it. It's just more of the convenience. So yeah. It's already set up. You want to fill up your bottle. You want to do anything like you already have your own portable water system. Okay. Yeah. But any, I mean, there's endless. Like, yeah. I mean, yeah. like for me, like yeah. I'm a you dog owner. I take a dog to the park, and yeah, I don't want to pick up this. Like, I take Nalgene's, but like if I could leave this in the car, or you know, like oh, and one of the designers, he, his kid, like plays soccer or sports, and like they go and set this up, and yeah, let's get Owen in here. Yeah, let's get Owen in. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, so this is, I mean, like you're saying, we, I use almost all this stuff more domestically, or equally domestically as I do um, out in, you know, while camping, because the kids actually have completely taken this thing for granted, and I always see them over there, like, filling up their water, so I was like, mm -hmm. they don't even know that this doesn't exist, right. but that's, that was the whole point, is to create a product that had the end user in mind. Mm -hmm. You can store water in anything, mm -hmm. but how you get the water back out, and, and in the modes that you want it to come out for what your yeah. use mode. Yeah. This thing was completely designed um, yeah. to adapt to that. No, that's cool. I mean, eventually, I guess you could do a shower version of that and, you know, if you really want to. So the the water container is the is the hub. All of the, okay. The ability to store water, store clean, safe water, mm -hmm. and know that it's going to stay that way, and then be able to dispense water out into a variety of. Um, mm -hmm. um, How tough is this? So this is. Um, Rotomolded molded um, LLDPE, which is a low-density polyethylene. It's four millimeters thick, mm -hmm. so it will survive a drop off the top of your car full of water. Okay. And actually, we've tested it. It has survived many drops off the top of your okay. car. Okay. So, What's the price point of these? Sixty nine ninety nine for the container, okay. um, and then ninety nine ninety nine for the for the water. And then you could put this in anything that you want to, so you can just get yeah. it, whatever you want to. Some of the form factors. The, What's on the okay. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's a magnetic base. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, but like a lot of the form factors, is the only thing I'm looking forward to seeing is what people do with this. It's not designed to do that. A, a finite product that it's like you can only use it for how it was designed. This is designed in such a way that people are going to be able to use this as a solution to their needs. Yeah, like a bear keg or something. Exactly. <laughs> you are right. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. This is the ultimate yeah. box wine right here, by the way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Can't slap the bag down. So, no. yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you're having a party, mm -hmm. you know, out, like you're barbecuing or something, exactly. you could fill up whatever. It depends on what you're into. Like for me, mm -hmm. as I was saying, with the CFX or any of this stuff, like I have a, I have a small home. Mm -hmm. And often, I don't like people going in and out of the home nonstop. Whereas, like, if you go to the bathroom, whatever, but like, you can really take everything outside and they need everything they mm -hmm. need. We, you know, we just had a party last weekend, it was Halloween. And we had a bunch of kids over, and I didn't want them in the house, so I set up a water station, mm -hmm. and they had water. Yeah. And so on mine, I take this metal puck, fits right here. It's intentional that this space. Um, and oh, that, to it. that's why it's shaped like that. So now this can go here, mm -hmm. and now you've got a standalone water in. station wherever you set yeah. this down. Now I go back into my van. I basically take this, load this back underneath, you know, the cupboard. Yeah. And then reinstall. My water system inside my living yeah. space, and now it's they have an installed system that's yeah. actually yeah. permanently installed. How far can the pump pull the water from the tank? Well, was that flat? 
you can go as pretty much as far as you want, but it'll pull a six foot head. And that so, connector is a, a standard type foot connector. Exactly. So the CPC fitting is like basically the universal standard. Okay, so, so you can get other connectors that make a longer. Exactly. Yeah. You, you can go to the hardware store, Amazon, and buy a longer hose. Mm -hmm. That's a silicone based hose? Or yeah, quarter, quarter inch ID hose. Um, go with the CPC fittings. You can buy these online. You can buy bulkhead fittings if you want to like have a pass through to thing. They also, um, with that, is the, um, the thread type here. This is your Nalgene style thread. So if you have other products that are Nalgene based products, they'll attach to this. So we did not create a proprietary just random size. We use what, what's already out there. So people can then combine products they already own and, and marry it to this. Yeah, that's very cool. What colors are we doing right now? Just this one? Or? The other... No, that's right. Hold on. I'm coming with you. Can I grab some bikes? I'm coming with you, Larry. So they're I'm coming with you. Oh. Oh, you were bringing it. Yeah, yeah. Is it gray? Am I gray? Oh, okay. There's one more. Oh. Oh, there's three of them. There you go. So you've got the slate, also. Yeah. You've got the slate, the ash, and the glacier. Oh, cool. That's cool. So 70 bucks, 100 bucks. Yep. Okay, cool. So I don't know if Larry... And that's available now? Uh, it'll be available in spring 22. So we're actually just a few minutes away. So you're look, you're actually seeing the very first optical samples. Um, I don't know if Larry addressed this, but the, part of the size of this is being that for the car camping world is having a size that's more um, like like usable and you know manageable. But for the overlanding world where people are used to the, the full size jerry can, is this is exactly the same depth of the jerry can, the same width of a jerry can, and half as tall as a jerry can. Okay. So if you've got a jerry can holders or your mindset is you know how to store that full size jerry can, you now can store two of these cool. because this oh, is the same, vertical. This is the same volume and, or, or size as a, as a single jerry can, but it's full of all these features. And now I can like, I only need this much water and I'm ready to come back for this one. Yeah. This is why you need the product guy to show you the product, right, not exactly. the marketer. Exactly. Well, you got us started, Larry, so we appreciate it. And so, like, on the jerry cans, jerry cans are rated as, uh, listed as 20 liter uh, mm -hmm. for volume. Mm -hmm. And so this is half of the jerry can, so that's, you know, be 10 liters. Mm -hmm. But this form factor actually, um, to this fill line is 11 liters. And if you use it in the vertical mode, it's actually 12.25 liters. Okay. So, you, so for a jerry can that's 20 liters, you have 24 and a half liters in the exact same space just because you've just maximized everything. You didn't mold in a handle or mold in little fancy features. So for the other products we have is uh, we have a hard storage with also soft storage. Okay. And the whole thing is soft storage is they don't have to be used together. So you buy it separate, but it's nice to be able to have the ability to organize products within this. Yeah. And also have these little bags that then you can we can you can get the insert and make it a, a little cooler or lunchbox. Yeah, I like this. So it's like a picnic basket. <laughs> Well, a modern day one. Well, the thing is, oh, you can use it for whatever you want. You can use it for whatever. Well, it, that's the same yeah. as how Owen was talking about the water stuff. Is yeah. see how people use it, and what's nice is they really, we really wanted to have it to where people could organize the stuff, set it in the corner of their garage, and when you go camping, you grab everything in the corner. Oh, this of the seems really tough. I wonder you if I could put my up. camera stuff in there. Yeah, and also and set up. A, that's what's crazy about yeah. it is we did, like it's people. Like designed it but like you can stand on it. Yeah. Which is absurd. Yeah. You know? A lot of this a lot of stuff you buy isn't quality. So are these out right now or are these a kind everything out? on Dometic Go, the water and all these products doesn't come out until March. March, okay. Obviously and it could be delayed if there were supply issues or anything. Right. Not saying there's gonna be, but I always like to let everyone that know there could be, you yeah. know, but March is when the release is supposed so to be. So what's something like this going for? Um don't know yet. <laughs> hey Blake, price point, sales guy. Oh, uh, ninety nine. Ninety nine dollars. Oh, ninety nine for the hard. Yeah, not. Say, that's not. not uh, that's without these. Much. Without these. With, okay. Can I uh, see what this looks like? Twenty five. Twenty five. Forty nine. Oh, okay. So these would be separate if you needed it. Let's yep. say. And so I want to I want to show something that we did that makes it a little unique compared to some of the other companies. Okay. This is a flat base mm -hmm. where other companies they've got ridges you can't really set stuff in there and it sits straight mm -hmm. it sits off so when you pack it out everything's in there it's tight and it's together okay 
Yeah, so you can put your camera stuff, you can do your drone, you could yeah. buy out any kind of phone Whatever. or anything, yeah. you yeah. put it in there, sir. you know, easily. Yeah. So, but yeah, this, we have the storage, we have the table. That's cool. The table yeah. does table. dining room height or or higher height. There's one of those fucks, yep. just saying if you're doing kitchen, yep. wanting to wash dishes. Bamboo top. Bamboo so top. this goes up? It goes a little higher. But otherwise, uh, it's it's a prep table, not right. a cooking table. Cooking tables are higher. Right. Prep. It's camping. You yeah. Know? Yeah. So we have that. We have this blanket, which is there might be a day. I'm awesome because it's two layers, so it's soft on this side, insulated. Other side is water resistant, so you can use it camping and stay warm. Or multi-purpose, right? Go to a soccer game. Wanted to hang out at the park with the kids. Now you can set it down and sit on top of it. Go to a concert, use it for that purpose. Okay, does this have any, um, like, uh, you know, like blackout curtains, for example, how they have that ability to block heat and stuff from going in through? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure it's going to retain some all on the product extreme information. These are newer products. Okay. And, you know, since. COVID kind of put everything back, and this is some of the first times we're all getting together as a team. Mm -hmm. Owen, product manager, he's going to know all this stuff in okay. and out. So yeah. I'm still like getting okay. with it because we don't because they're not in full production. These are you know samples. Yeah, they're coming you out know? soon. Exactly. Okay. Absolutely. Cool. Yep. So just being frank on all that. That's yeah, why no, I, I appreciate it. Everything. Yeah, I appreciate it. So heated seat. Okay. Have the ability to sit and get cold. Yeah, Lola, you would like. You could this. be at a football game. You could yeah. whatever, and it, and it works with a small like cell phone charger, or you got an adapter. Now you can use it in the vehicle. You could yeah. use it in with one of those batteries camping, whatever yeah. you want. Okay. So that's cool. We got a lot of products, guys. Yeah. We got this, which is really cool. This is a, a bench. So the ability to basically. Instead of having a chair, yeah, how awesome. small yeah. that is. Yeah, small, lightweight. Yep. And how does it fold out? Here? So it folds out like this, and then these go upwards. Obviously, you've never done a cot. Hold on, let me let you do yeah. it. Yeah. That's what's supposed to in front of it. Oh, well, yeah. That's a shrunken cot. So yeah. it goes the opposite way. Yeah. Oh, it goes the opposite way. Okay. Oh, so it's just like oh, okay. a smaller, yeah, it's just like a that, smaller cot. Um, here, open it up. Let's see how it opens. All right. So it's always whichever direction the middle one is, is what I've learned. Boom. And then you've got a double chair. Yep. How much weight can that take? Uh, 300 pounds. 300? Okay. Cool. That's cool. Yeah. I like, yeah. That. I like the fact that you can put that into a small space. Absolutely. Yeah, we, yeah. Got a lot of, we got a lot of products. Yeah, so, that kind of stuff. Okay, so what else? Uh, let's let's finish on the CCFT, which is okay. the, oh. the fridge that Mike has in here. Oh, yeah, let's check that out. Right here. So this is last line of defense if you guys uh, check out that YouTube channel. Exactly. You've seen it. So easiest thing, if you want to stay on this side, I'll walk to the other. Regular inside, this is a Tremor 350, mm -hmm. uh, so F-150, uh, even the Raptor. Mm -hmm. Look how, it looks like it came right uh, off the lot that way. Yeah. Yep, so now you got a fridge in the front seat, great to give the kids snacks, mm -hmm. you know, get done with, uh, you know, playing some basketball or whatever it could be, going yeah. to the gym. Keep your insulin. There you go, keep right. your insulin, like yeah. you have options cool. for yeah. all this stuff. Yeah, that's awesome. Man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Champagne, whatever you I mean, do. Uh, we don't recommend, yeah. but you know. Not while you're driving. No, you I mean, be responsible. You, you guys do whatever, but not yeah, just. Yeah, be responsible. <laughs> so, Cole, I'll just show you guys a quick look at this rig, which you, I'm sure there's several videos you guys could check out here. Uh, and then also, there you go. So that's our last line of defense right there, and here's there's his rig. Pretty badass. Where is he? Oh, he's over there sitting. He's having a snack. <laughs> this is what a YouTuber does. Oh, he's, he's very slowly chewing. Well, I think he discovered. Discovered that you got a snack. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. All right, listen, thanks hey, a lot, man. I really seriously. appreciate it. It was great meeting you. Yeah. Um, that, that was very thorough. Lots of good ideas in your van, as well as uh, from things that Domet, uh, Dometic has. So, yeah. Yeah, I appreciate well, it, man. Look forward to seeing you more often. Absolutely. All right, guys. Uh, if folks out there want to find out more about this stuff, where do they go? Dometic.com. There you go. Yeah, you'll start Easy seeing stuff show on Instagram as well as like mm -hmm. things progress, but otherwise, 
The medic.com is the easiest way to keep up. Awesome. We're out of here, guys. Peace. All right.